to the floor and you pump it but nothing happens you can't get it into gear then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to fix clutch hydraulic systems today our cars use hydraulic clutch cylinders it's not the brake cylinder but it's next to the brake cylinder right here pull off the top and look inside if you don't see any fluid then it's leaked out and you have to find out where it's leaked from so pick up a little flashlight look up at the top of the rod and if you see fluid coming out you know that the master cylinder is leaking here's an old master cylinder that I changed last week it's got a bolt on the top and a bolt on the bottom that holds it in and one bolt for the line you just remove them and put a new one back in but once you put the new cylinder in the system's full of air so you have to bleed it out like this you need a flare wrench for the nut then you put the flare wrench on the line and loosen it uh. Now bleeding out the air is easier if you have two people, one to step on the pedal and one to use the wrench, but I work by myself, so I use a giant screwdriver. You put the screwdriver on the clutch and push it against the seat. Then you push the seat forward, so it pushes the clutch down and holds it. Then you go back to the clutch master and tighten it up. And then put the seat back, and the clutch is released. Repeat this process three or four times and you'll get all the air out of the system. But let's say the clutch master cylinder wasn't leaking. Well, then you need to check the clutch slave cylinder for leakage. In this Toyota, the clutch slave cylinder is here, right below the distributor. To check it, move the hose out of the way, and then squeeze the rubber bellows on the clutch slave cylinder. If fluid leaks out, it's leaking and it needs replacing. Now, clutch slave cylinders are even easier to bleed. They have actual bleeder valves on them right here. Bleeder valves are right here. You just loosen the bleeder valve to get the air out of a clutch slave cylinder. Just put the wrench on and turn it. Uh. And then you bleed the clutch slave cylinder the same as the master. Just get a giant screwdriver, wedge it on the clutch, and push the seat forward to build up pressure. And then close the bleeder valve. Uh. And of course, when you're done, fill out the clutch cylinder with brake fluid. So now you know, working on clutch hydraulic systems isn't that hard. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.